hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome sis my name is yap and in today's video i'm just going to be showing you guys how i achieve these bomb natural glams on my clients so like comment and subscribe and we're going to get right into it so the first things first i'm going to do her brows i'm just wiping off her brows with some rubbing alcohol on a kind pad and i did that so i can get rid of any oils or any product that's on her skin in that area and now i'm gonna take some got to be glue hair gel on a mascara wand or a spoolie and i'm just gonna work that gel into her brows now if you want a very in-depth eyebrow tutorial like client edition i have one on my channel that i posted not too long ago so you guys could go check that out i'll leave that in the link in the description box so I just take the gel and work that in to keep the hairs in place and it gives this nice like soapy brow, natural brow, full brow type of look. Like I just love it. It keeps the hairs in place and it's great for if your clients don't have their brows done. It makes it look like they do when you put concealer over the hairs that stick out so that's a nice little trick and then i took some alcohol again on the rubbing pad to get rid of any excess gel because when you put concealer on top of that it might get patchy and sticky and you don't want that so yeah i did that and now i'm going to actually start carving out her brows using the absolute new york brow pencil as y'all know all the products will be listed on the screen and then i'm just gonna line the bottom and then the top and i'm just gonna fill that in with hair like strokes also i'm just gonna give a little disclaimer from the beginning of this video my bonnet is kind of in the way of some of the shots so you may see me doing one side and then switching over to the other because on one side my bonnet was in the way but you know you guys could still see what i'm doing i just wanted to give a little disclaimer for that because my big head will be in the video a lot of the time so just wanted to give you guys a heads up <laughs> So this is how the brows will look before you apply your concealer. It may look a little crazy, but that's what concealer is for. So I'm taking this concealer from e.l.f. It's the Hydrating Camel Concealer in Deep Cinnamon on this flat concealer brush that I got from AliExpress, but I'll leave the link in the description box. And I'm just carving out the brows, making sure that the brush is extremely, extremely flat so I can get the perfect, precise brow that I want. And I'm just following the line that I just drew or, you know, the outline line of the brow that I just made and I'm just following that following the shape getting it how I want to keep in mind that brows take a little bit of time okay brows is not something quick and easy so like I usually say if you find yourself doing the brows for a little bit of a minute don't even stress about it sis because brows take time you know so after i do the bottom i then do the top and i'm switching over to the right side of the brow because once again my big head was in the way so but y'all can still see what i'm doing i'm just taking a concealer that's more close to her skin tone and this is the tarte shape tape in rich and i'm just carving that out outlining the brows making sure that everything is perfect and in the shape that i want it to be Okay, so now we're back on the left side and I do the same thing to each brow. It's just that I'm only showing you one brow because I didn't feel like showing you the same thing twice. Y'all get the gist. I'm just taking some nice Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer and it's a little bit lighter than the concealer that I used on the bottom. And I'm just going over the outer portion of her brow because when that is extremely sharp, that gives you the nice fleeky brow look. So I use a thicker um concealer with a thicker consistency because that is what really makes everything very sharp and clean and just you know fleeky so after i apply that to only the outer portion i then blend it out and i really really love this brush from elf it's the blending perfector brush and you know i'm just getting rid of the boxy look in the front making sure that everything is nice and blended so after we do the brows we're moving on to the eyes for my natural glams i always do like a brown eye but i don't really use eyeshadow for it instead to save me time i use a concealer that's like a little darker than their skin and has a nice brown tone to it and then i just apply that to the lid as a base color and then i set it with a setting powder that's also a little closer to their skin so this is the ben eye setting powder in chestnut and i set the eye with that of course and then i go over it with a little bit of bronzer just a little bit and this gives that that nice brown smoky eye eyeshadow look without you actually having to use eyeshadow and it saves you a lot a lot of time so i'm just applying that dusting it over her eyes with the setting brush and then i'm gonna add a little bit of gold eyeshadow to her inner corner because you know just to add a nice little pop to the natural glam 
Now I'm just adding a little bit of eyeliner. I'm not doing a wing. I'm just adding a line just to make her lash line a little thicker because I like for the lash line to look a little thicker. And also, if you apply lashes and there's a gap, the black liner will fill in the gap so we won't have that weird gap between her real lashes and her lash line and then the false eyelashes. And now I'm just adding a little bit of highlight to the brow bone to make it pop. And look at that glow, y'all. Oh my gosh, so pretty. But I blended it out a little bit because it was a little harsh. And now I'm just going to moisturize her face while her lashes are getting tacky. And I'm using the Pond's Dry to Very Dry Moisturizing Cream. And I'm just going to rub that in all over her face. She has like normal skin. It's not oily and it's not dry. But that face cream works for any skin tone even though it's specified on the product. It works great for any type of skin whether it's oily, dry, doesn't matter. I use it on everybody. So after I do that, I apply some of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer just so that the makeup lasts long. And it also has like the foundation has something to stick to. And it gives a nice base, you know, it smooths out the skin as well. So I really, really recommend it. So as you can see, she barely has any flaws, to be honest. Like she barely has any pimples. She doesn't have any marks or any heavy discoloration. Like her skin is pretty much flawless. So I just wanted to add a little bit a little bit of concealer instead of using a heavy duty foundation because it doesn't really have a purpose like all she needed to do was cover up a little bit of the discoloration that she does have so as you can see i'm just putting it in like random places and i'm not really putting a lot because she doesn't need like a heavy base so i just use the concealer to do that and that's kind of what i do with all my natural glands if my clients don't really have a lot of like problem areas on their face i go for some concealer and I just cover up the places that she that they do have like problems and then I just put that all over and then like when I use my foundation brush to blend it out it naturally spreads it all over the face but it's such a thin layer so it feels light and natural. So now we're moving on to highlighting and as you can see I'm just tapping some of that concealer on in the places that the sun hits her face and I'm just slightly tapping it because she doesn't need heavy duty concealer or heavy duty coverage but I still want to add that nice highlighted glow. So to get a very light thin layer in application I'm just patting the product on I'm not really like spreading it on too heavy just in all the highlighted areas of her face and then I'm going to take a little bit of the Kevin Aquan concealer just for a little bit more coverage and just to add a nice golden highlight to her face now we're going to contour so I'm using the foundation stick from um, Maybelline this is the super stay one and I'm just putting that in the places that I want to chisel down a little bit but I kind of contour well at least when I'm working on her I contour and bronze at the same time like I kind of contour to bronze I put the foundation stick in the contoured places but it's not too deep it just adds a nice dimension and contrast to her face so yeah and if you guys want an in-depth tutorial on how to highlight and contour i also have one on my page so you guys could go check that out too also to blend out her contour i'm using the same brush that i used to apply the base which was the concealer from elf and i typically use the same brushes within the same application because i just feel like the products mesh together very well and i'm also lazy i don't feel like washing out a lot of brushes when it's time to wash my brushes so i learned how to make it work <laughs> So now we're going to blend out the highlighted parts of her face with this Blending Perfecta brush from e.l.f. I usually use a beauty blender, but I wanted to get as full coverage as I can with the thin layer of concealer that I applied. So I used a brush this time and I actually really, really love it. It gave a nice finish and I feel like people really sleep on e.l.f. brushes. Like e.l.f. brushes are so bomb, like they're so great. This brush is nice and dense, but it's a little bit fluffy too so it gives like an airbrushed finish and it just works great so I'm just patting the product in 
uh you know in all the places that i highlighted her face just making sure that everything is blended out and i kind of yeah use tapping motions instead of like windshield wiper motions just making sure all the product is worked into her skin So I'm going to set her face and I'm going to start with the under eyes first in all the places that usually crease the fastest first. And I'm just going to use a very flat eyeshadow brush to apply the setting powder to the places that crease first. So, you know, it's usually under the eye and also the places that's kind of hard to get to the makeup sponge. So the nose and, you know, just the creases of the face. And I set those first, obviously, because they crease the fastest. So I'm just setting that, really making sure that the product is nice and in her skin. And then I'm going to go over that with a makeup sponge to set the rest of the highlighted areas. I also set underneath the contoured area because when I wipe it off, it gives a nice sharp and snatched look to the contour. But y'all will see that in a second. So after I apply the setting powder, I'm just going to start to dust it off and I kind of dust it off in a certain order because I want certain products to stay on the face a little longer than others. So I do the forehead, then I wiped off the lip area, then a little bit off the cheeks and then the nose. And I believe I'm going to let the powder under the eyes and under her contour sit for a little bit because I want that to really set the most. And then I slightly contoured her nose a little bit with the bronzer from Morphe, the Glamour Bronze in Supreme or Prodigy. It's one of them. And then after I do that, I just wipe off the powder under her eyes and on her cheeks. The eye area tends to be very sensitive and you know I don't want to cause any wrinkles or I just don't want to be harsh under there so I take a softer brush which is the Real Technique setting brush to wipe away the powder underneath the eyes. To set the contoured areas and to also add a nice little bronzer to the skin, I'm going to use the Morphe Glamour Bronze in Supreme on a powder brush from BH Cosmetics. It came in a set, so I don't really know the specific name, but I know it's from BH Cosmetics. And I'm just applying that to the places that I contoured, just bronzing up the skin a little bit, adding a nice chocolatey glow to the skin. And then with that same brush, I'm going to use the pink and orange shades from the Juvia's Place Volume 1 palette. Apply it to her nose and her cheeks just to add a nice colorful warmth to the face. And then I'm going to highlight with the Artist Couture Conceited Highlighter on the Morphe M510 brush. And just apply it to all the highlighted places of her face. You know, the cheeks, the nose, the cupid's bow, and the forehead. I'm going to line her waterline with some black liner from Absolute New York and, you know, just making sure that that is nice and smudged out. Going to add some mascara to the bottom and top lashes with the Mega Length Mascara from Wet n Wild. And now we're going to move on to the lips. So I am just applying some Vaseline to her lips. I usually use a lipstick applicator, but she's my sister and it was late. I just wanted to be finished. So I just use my finger. But if you're using... If you're doing a client, of course, use a lipstick applicator. And then I am taking some brown lip lighter from the beauty supply store. I honestly don't remember the name, but I know it's a dollar and I get it from the beauty supply store. So yeah, I'm just applying that, just some dark brown lip liner. Thank you. 
I'm going to take this liquid lipstick from Lip Talk Cosmetics and it's in the shade Ghost. And I'm just going to apply that to her lips and then make her like rub it in like going like... You know what I'm saying? Like, puck it or whatever. And then I'm just going to put some clear gloss on top of that. Make her puck it again. And yeah. So the final step is setting the face. I'm going to take some Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray, spray it on the Beauty Blender, and then pounce it into her skin because I want to set all the layers of makeup that I just put on. So I'm just pressing that into her skin. And then I'm going to seal it all in with some Dewy Setting Spray from Anastasia Beverly Hills to make the skin look a little more like skin. And now we're all done. This is the finished look. You know what I'm saying? Look at that glow. Look at that highlight. She looks bomb. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. You know, this is her with her wig on or whatever. <laughs> Feel me? So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see from me down in the comment section below. Let me know, you know, if you learned any tips and tricks and all that good stuff. So I'll talk to you guys in next week's video. Peace.